But it looks like uh, Dexter was able to cause that upset on ZD. I'm pretty sure it was ZD who ended up slamming their controller. But Dexter, Kripova, this is a run back for Dexter, who got sent to losers by the man you see him right here. In yeah. Kripova. And Creep Hoop, we want with the guess, best of five set. There's a lot of room to play around with a lot of new ideas, adaption to be had, as Creep Hoop uh, really clutched it out over Zex Dexter in their last set. As uh, Dexter, you know, Dexter was warming up a whole lot in their set. The combos were warming up, but Creep Hoop kind of just edged it out in the very, very end. Woo! And ooh! Yeah, if you're a wolf, there's no coming back. Just. Just play the next stock out. I mean, there was nothing you could do in that situation. Kripova getting the stock right there inside B fashion. And now it's it's time for Dex to retaliate. Mm -hmm. Good old whoopty scoop. But check it off. You got a stock to take here. But no jump here from Dexter right now. Kripova taking full advantage of the situation here. As Dexter kind of poses himself in the center right now. Setting up for this ledge trap as he needs to take this stock from Ridley. And there you go, popping it with a dash attack. It is football season, so that foot is definitely putting in that work in Charlie Brown fashion right there. Gonna get the stock and now a 92% deficit and then some bean tack on with the side B. Kripova doing a really good job with aggression, keeping Dexter at the corner, but it's those moments where if you don't get the right punish, Dexter will take full control, but not enough to take the stock yet. At sitting at 152, Max Rage Wolf is pretty scary uh, wolf to deal with. Yeah, and just so, it's so funny just getting dragged across the entire stage by Ridley side B. And now you're just back in this situation, no jump though, taking that stock very early from Dexter. That's definitely hurting right now in that game one. But you got a whole room, you got a whole lot to kind of check it off with. No, yeah, but it's not about what you can do in the future. You got to think about what you can do right now in this very moment. And every game matters. Despite being in the deficit, it seems like Dexter is slowly but surely starting to bring it back. Getting these big hits, uh, keeping um, Kripova in the platform, not allowing him to touch the ground. Ooh. And the moment he touches the ground, he gets a force palm to the face. Mm -hmm. And right now, the, this momentum has swung so much in Dexter's favor right now. As he's kind of just setting up to ledge track Kripova, playing real careful around that space, just trying to go for the empty hop as well. And you know when we get to these scary situations, these uh these kind of last hit situations, Kribubo really slows down the game. They don't really throw out a lot of aerials, and they wait for that key moment, that key moment to pick up on their style and just take full advantage of that. Yeah, and you really got to be careful right now if you're Kribubo because not only can you are you have you just lost a very comfortable lead, you are also one big conversion away from potentially losing your stock and losing this game one in what should have been yours to win in the first place. Mm -hmm. You're just one stock away from a good old wolf back here as Dexter abusing that third yeah. range for the good old ass smash for this game one. We have saw a few of those uh, side beats come out and when they haven't converted, Dexter just went full control with the punish game and that was the seal that was a deal breaker right there. Like, mm -hmm. you do this again, if you don't hit me, you're gonna die. And that's exactly what Dexter did with another forward smash to clear the stock and take game one. Make him pay for it, full price. And now we're going into this game two here. Definitely looking forward to how things are gonna switch up for Creep Hooba's side as Dexter. Looking to cut probably closest out 3-0. He's like, all right, I, I got to make it back. I got to run this whole back. I got I to turn him into win here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, both these players in speed run motion right now. They both want to get this uh, the set over with and then uh, the rest of their run to keep on going. However, this is not going to be an easy task for either one of these players. It seems like um, Dexter finally started getting some ad adaptation going in his favor towards the end of that game one. However... Kripuba, he is more than capable of mixing up his gameplay, especially with Ridley. Yeah, as we can see, Dexter throwing out a lot less aerials, being really patient and very methodical with his playstyle right now. Kind of just looking for these openings around Dexter as he just dances around the space and the shield. And as, as, as soon as he sees that there, he immediately just responds with the forward air. You can see it. Mm -hmm. All right, sitting at 129. First person uh Oh, it looks like uh, Dexter... Sooner or later, she'll be getting the stock, but I love the spacing coming out from Kripuba, just avoiding these aerial hits from Dexter right now. 
Mm -hmm. His spacing is just so immaculate right now. But the shield poke gonna trip up Dexter right now as Creepoopa poses to maybe take the stock in this situation. But Dexter hanging on back, chilling in the center. We have a little bit of a scramble. And in that situation, Dexter comes out on top with the first stock. Yep, but can't get too comfortable. This is probably a dead wolf if they oh. get the punish, but no, nothing coming out of it. Kripuva once again at uh, sitting at the corner, and every single time that we've seen Kripuva at the corners, it's been a it's, Dexter's made his life a living hell at that point. Yeah, you just wolf, you know, as we know, is one of the best ledge trappers in the game. And when you got that veteran status that Dexter has, that phenomenal reaction game, it's kind of curtains for you. You gotta Ooh. count your blessings. And see, we're right back to the ledge again. Just forced to stare down Dexter, but really good decision to just come on swing with the fair, waiting for that timing, waiting for that gap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally gonna get back to center stage is Kripuba, who's trying to just get rid of the stock already. I mean, it's been almost, it's Ooh. been almost, uh, it's been over two minutes, and yet he is at a deficit sitting in the final stock. Once again off stage, how many times have we seen these side Bs and none of them have converted this game? Yeah, Dexter's playing real smart around those side Bs. The thing about side B is, if you give yourself that room to kind of react to them, you're not up in front in Ridley's face, you can very easily avoid them. But, oh, you know, that's, a, that's one dead wolf there. <laughs> Unfortunate stock right there coming out from... Dexter right there to lose that stock. I mean, you know, you're still sitting at a pretty comfortable lead, but Ridley is just one of those characters that if he's able to gimp you, especially uh, from what we saw game one, he just gets Ooh. you off stage. Ooh, I love the conversion right there from uh, Dexter. Look at Jude, I see you, ain't even here. And just trying to threaten this space with the backer as well. Dexter looking very posed to take this game too as he sets up for the ledge trap right now. Was going to get the call out with the back air. However, the quick nair coming out from Kripupa is going to save him. In the meantime, 81% to this 117. Looking really good right now is uh, Kripupa, but got a little too antsy. Oh, but He's the side B dragging him across the stage right now. Kripupa okay. looking to take this stock. And now Dexter, you know, on his last stock right now, definitely looking to end this right here and right now at the ledge. We've seen this situation before, except the roles were reversed, and that was Kripuba who had the comfortable lead to begin that game one, and he's not going to be able to regain composure and finish this game as Dexter takes game two. In, I want to say it was a pretty dominant start. Uh, Kripuba started yeah. catching on late on, but I mean, if you, if you start dominant, you're, you're kind of just a few hits away, especially with Wolf to just get that game anyways. Yeah. Dexter held his own. The moment you start thinking, the moment you start sitting on ledge, you know your opponent's already in your head. Mm -hmm. As this is looking like a very convincing 3-0 for Dexter right now, but you know it's never over. I just never love, count him out. Mm -hmm. I just love the coverage that we're seeing from Dexter, especially when he has uh, Kripuba sitting at uh, hanging onto ledge mm -hmm. because he's just jumping around the roll space. If you jump, he's gonna catch you with a nair, and if you just uh, get up. Any getup option, normal getup or getup attack, that's a free punish right there as well for Wolf. So the coverage from Dexter has been phenomenal, Ooh. and you're seeing it here right now. Yeah, this freeform combo game kind of rolling right now. He's getting these strings as well. The up air is looking real good out here as Dexter puts Kripuba in the corner, trying to threaten that space with the back air, but Kripuba in hand, scooping it up off that down tilt, getting the two frame with the F-tilt as well, but Dexter coming back to the stage right now, reversing the situation. All right, both these players just waiting for their opportunity to strike, and I love these F-tilts, two perfectly spaced F-tilts. That could be the stock, but no punish coming out right there from Kripuba, still sitting at a pretty uh, comfortable position right now. And here it goes. Exactly what yep. I mentioned. You are perfectly spacing your ground. You're covering the roll, the jump, and now you covered a getup attack with a up smash to take the first stock. Yeah, Dexter laying down the first law of the land right now with that first stock. Kripuba looking to just take this right here right now with the side beat. Unfortunately, whiffs it as he's entering the Dexter vortex with the up air right now. And thinking too long at the ledge. Already in the brain right here right now. Whoo! I love the F smash. It doesn't even have to get the stock. It's just to put, it's, it's just making a statement at that point. Like, you, I'm in your head. I know what you're gonna do. You may get the stock, but I am still playing like, I, 
one, out of my mind, and two, in your head. Like, I'm just in your head already. You're not going to be able to get, do anything about it. However, Pipuba reminding us Ooh. he's back in this. He is not out of this yet. Yeah. Ooh, um, shielding the Wolf Flash in time, of not meeting the ends of that stock there. Dexter, though, taking it back up Ooh. now and chilling for way too long. Falling victim to that Wolf down smash. As Dexter, you're looking real confident right now. Just trying to make it back from Kripuba. See, there you go. Wolf flash it out. Back onto the stage. So unfortunate right there from Kripuba losing the stock the way he did. Oh. But so is that stock as well. And now, signs of life have finally come in the favor of Kripuba, who can potentially steal this game three, keep the set going. However, he has to get out of that corner. Finally going to be able to do so as uh, Dexter is just trying to continue this aggression. Yeah, that fat line ain't beeping yet for Kripuba as Kripuba trying to think this Ooh. out very, very smart. Trying to play real patient, but Dexter right now is turning up the ante to 100 right now. Reading in the air dodge with the S-Mash and Pose to take the stock on this ledge trap situation here. You got to watch out with how long you hang on to the ledge, but the coverage right there from Dexter is so good. He's not making it easy for Kripuba to get back on stage. Look at how long he's staying there. He's losing invincibility, and even then, like, there's no punish coming out from... Dexter, oh. however, this could be no jump as he races. Oh, <laughs> Kripuba. The vitals are rapidly blinking right now. He is here and he is alive. He's here to show everybody in the chat, everybody tuning in, that this game ain't over. Mm -hmm. Dexter might have had that very confidently, but the gods have blessed him with that SD, and it is Kripuba's time to begin that counterattack. Yeah, I mean, it's so unfortunate that Dexter had to lose that second stock the way that he did, but you got to capitalize on those situations. Kripuba did exactly that. Now we are here in a Game 4 scenario where that's a momentum shifter. That is a game changer for sure, and we can be, definitely be seeing Kripuba uh, bring things back into his favor in this Game 4. However, the aggression and the great usage of uh, the edge guard right now coming Ooh. clutch right there for Dexter. Yeah, making real good use of this frame advantage that Wolf has over Ridley, just trapping him down and locking him in the space. Kripubo's already out with that 99 right now, and Dexter taking things up the ante with the 120 on the backer as well, and just still setting up for this lead trap situation as well, just threatening that space with backer as we see it as one of Wolf's entire powerful moves in his toolkit. Yeah, I mean, despite not getting the stock there, it, it just goes to show you, like, there's some habits that have not changed on Kripuba's end, which is holding on to that ledge. You are getting punished, and now you lost a stock with only 19% dealt on that first stock of Dexter. Yeah, Dexter looking to clearly wrap up this, what happened from the last game. It didn't happen. That SD, that yeah. didn't happen for me. Never you, you ain't gonna take a stock. As you see, you know, Pose to take the up air train as well, ending it off with the up tail as well. I really like that. And still, like you said before, the Dexter's always in that position to kind of get that ledge trap situation, just covering so many spaces with that nair. And then when he threatens with the back airs, mm, that's yeah. the icing on the cake. I mean, and he's just looking unstoppable right now. We've only seen 8% tacked on while Kripuba has struggled to get this damage. Finally going to put himself on a board a few, get a bit more damage, but still, like, we're not, we're just seeing Kripuba not being able to play this game right now. And now we're seeing a lot more of a passive play style from Dexter with the lasers. Yeah, just narrowly escaping the down smash right now. Kripuba looking to trap Dexter at the ledge here with the F-Tilt. And there you go, good old F-Tilt to just get him back. But unfortunately, whiffing the S-Mash right in the face, Dexter just going to get this reversal this time around. Play this real smart, but hanging for too long, Kripuba. You got to put out your answer. You got to make that decision. He's not going to wait for you all day. Unfortunate way to go out for Kripuba. Oh. However, signs of life. That's how it starts. You got to get one to get the other. And that is going to be one stock down another stock. But still, uh, Kripuba has been in these positions before. We have seen him clutch out of these moments. But it's all a matter of how he goes about the rest of this game. The aggression right now from Dexter, the shield pressure, and just keeping Kripuba at the corner, not allowing him to move out of this spot. Yeah, Kripuba playing a little too much with fire right now, but that might be what he needs to kind of just come back to this game right now. Setting up for the back throw as well, Woo! and waiting to punish the Wolf Flash as well as Dexter looks to just aggressively take that center back from him. But missing that spacing on lock is going to be paying very dear for it. But this might be his another chance here at the ledge. Oh my 
gosh. This is exactly the same position we saw game three where it was kind of just like uh, Dexter was at a comfortable position, but now oh. Pupupa with Rage oh. and now built up 55%. Uh oh! We've seen step back forward smashes already come back from uh, Kripupa. He had the punish, no punish there. Back throw, gonna put him in a good spot oh. position. Oh my gosh. What a steal. Two for two in steals. Kripupa here to remind you once again who one of the best Ridley's in the biz is here as we're going to this game five against Dexter. Just when we think Kripu was out for the count, the immediate comeback. That rage with Ridley goes so insane as Dexter kind of folds to those very crucial moments that that yielding air dodge. It's like, oh, I picked up that drift. I picked up that air dodge. Let's F smash it out. Let's back air it out and just wrap this up to the next game. It's unfortunate, and you see Dexter like just kind of beating himself up about it. You saw it in the player cam right there. Um, you just got to shake it off. I mean, Dexter has been pretty dominant throughout most of these games. He's definitely tacking on the damage, but he hasn't been able to close that final stock for whatever reason, whether it be just a comeback feat uh, mechanic that uh, Kripuba has installed in his own uh, heart. Who knows, but he's like Kripuba's just playing uh, a great survivability game right now. Yeah, and again, it's like what we've seen from all the sets or all the games from before, that Dexter has a very phenomenal start, but then Krapuba slowly just creeps on back. Right now, you know, it's a little bit you know better than it was the previous times. It definitely, you know, not a very smart option to like, just get up and attack the shield right there. Dexter drawing first blood in this game five. Unfortunate right there once again. Kripuba in a position that we've seen him throughout mo practically all this set at this point. But, um, you know, can you, we've seen it time and time again. You can't, out, you can't count out uh, Kripuba at any point in time. He Ooh. had the right punish, but just let Ooh. it rip too early. Great uh, counter uh, uh, coming out from uh, Dexter, though. Yeah, Dexter always having phenomenal uh, timings on those rolls on the platforms when really looks posed to kind of just cover that entire space with the up smash, with the up tilt as well, but get up attacking the up smash. You would think you would learn for the next time, but no. Kripuba still just chilling, trying to get back to the stage, but the good old Stomp going to be intercepting Dexter here. And a good usage right there of the F tilt. Has him out of off stage situation, but no, no, no perfect punish is going to come there. Oh! Ooh. This time around, catching the roll. Yeah, Dexter is sensing the fear from Kripuba right now, but you can't count Kripuba out. Never. We, we still got a full stock to play with. We still got five minutes on the clock. As soon as that stock goes down from either player, you know, it's over. But for right now, we are in this. Dexter trying to Ooh. lock down Kripuba at the ledge, just getting that damage on up, just trying to slow it down. Play a real save, but Kripuba just comes swinging with the back air. Now, Dexter needs to literally get rid of this stock before Kripuba starts building that momentum back up once again. We're seeing right there good aggression. Use the laser and force the force the, the shield. Now it's time for Dexter to strike, getting these damages, 79%. Looking pretty good. It, he has to keep it up, though. He has mm -hmm. to finish his plate. He can't let it stop there. Yeah, the momentum, he just has to take it out right now before the really just starts to snowball on him. 113 on Krapuba. He do got that rage and just reading the tech uh, roll in. Hose with the S-Smash and oh, almost taking stock again in that situation. Dexter kind of fumbling right now, but still a good old back air, a good old something will do this stock in. He just has to just check Krapuba on this situation, what? but no, no punish here at the ledge. One of, oh. one of the rare times we see Dexter not opt to go for an up smash when getting the, the get up attack call out. He panicked, he didn't pull the trigger. But this time around, 165% is going to be enough. The back air will send Kripuba packing back home with a fourth place finish as Dexter, a huge sigh of relief. I mean, getting away with that game five in the end when he probably had the games won in game three and four. I mean, he'll take what he can, but it definitely didn't come easy. Yeah, I would feel so relieved after that. Oh, nearly getting reverse 3 0'd. I don't want to think what would happen if I do. I'll be like, oh, I can't believe this happened to me. But I get, but that's kind of one of the charms of Ridley. Uh, against that character, there's this big fear factor because 
I got he heavies in general just have that big fear factor. Yeah. He has moment a lot of momentum changing moves to kind of just take the wind out of your sails or just like really like turn around situations, much like that Saibi, his phenomenal kind of tech chasing game with his you know interesting options. Like he can cover entire platforms with up tilt, up smash, and you know, dash attack as well for those uh those chase kind of situations. No, oh, yeah, I mean kudos to both those players looking real looking really clean. Yeah, but this run was pretty good as well. Two